This is the oil extractor tool that we're going to use for this particular size oil filter on this three liter uh, Mercruiser engine. And in conjunction with it, we'll be using a vacuum pump. And this tool here will make a very small hole in the side of the existing oil filter that's going to be replaced. But we also want to get the oil out of that filter before we screw it off. And we'll be using the vacuum pump, uh, which will be attached to it. And that's going to cause a high velocity oil extraction uh, from the filter. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on. These uh, extractor tools come in uh, different diameters. The most common ones are for filters that are two and a half, three and three and a half inch diameter. The length uh, does not matter. It's the uh, diameter for which the tool will fit on. So we got the three inch diameter, three and a half inch diameter for this particular filter. And I should note that using the uh, vacuum pump on this marine engine, we've already extracted the oil from the engine crankcase. That's uh, generally what is done first. Tighten the, uh, the tool down now, which will create a real tight fit on this extractor valve. On the inside of the valve, there's an O-ring seat. So we wanna make sure this bracket goes real tight. So there will not be a vacuum leak at that point. And now I'm going to take the vacuum pump suction hose and put that on the end of the valve. At this point, I'm going to turn the Pearson valve, which will make a small hole in the side of the filter. I turn it all the way in until it stops. And now I just back it out all the way until it stops. And once I apply vacuum with the pump, it will extract the oil from the filter. Generally under a minute's time, all the oil will be jacked and drained out of the filter. You can see how the line is just jumping around. And that's because the oil is going through there so fast. And as it's getting depleted, it's also drawing some air out. How much oil is in a typical two and a half inch filter? This one here has probably got about between 18 and 20 ounces of oil. And that should just about do it. So now I can take off the vacuum suction line. I can undo the tool. And right here, you can see the small hole, which is less than an eighth of an inch in diameter that the oil was extracted through. But this time here, I can go ahead and remove the filter with a conventional filter tool. Is there any oil leaking from the bottom? No, there's no oil. I'll be able to show that when I And if I tilt the filter upside down, just residual oil from where it seats on to <coughs> the face of the engine. And this would have otherwise ended up in the bilge, then into the water, and, uh, and polluted uh, a lot of areas, correct? 
That's correct. So this is the uh, vacuum pump that we use to not only extract the oil out of the um, engine itself, but the, uh, but the filter. Great about this pump is that with the pumping of the handle in both directions, it'll create up to 28 inches of vacuum. Uh, so that's another reason why the, an oil filter will be emptied so fast between the combination of vacuum and atmospheric pressure. So this is a vacuum pump that we use to extract the oil from the filter and I've already removed the suction cap and, and line. So now to show you how much oil we took out of the filter, extracted from the filter, I'm going to pour this oil into a measuring cup right here. So oh, that's roughly two. Yep, yeah, that's uh, that's two cups of cups of oil. Oh, you might also say 16, 16 ounces that we were able to extract from the oil filter before we attempted to unscrew it, remove it, and therefore eliminating a lot of mess that would have to be cleaned up. And cleaning up uh, engine oil from a bil bilge, time consuming, it's dirty, it's not good for the environment. Plus the oil can be recycled. And when the uh, when an oil filter ends up in a landfill, there's virtually no oil left in it to contaminate soil.